Let's talk about setting up and using a USB MIDI controller with our Play Audio One U. Now, before I started this tutorial, I've got my Play Audio One U already powered up, connected to my computer here. And I've got two computers for a redundant setup, set up and ready to go. I'm gonna be using Ableton Live for this example, but really any DAW will work. Now, I've got my USB MIDI controller here. I've already got it connected to a USB cable. And so I'm gonna take the other side of this and let's plug this into the USB host port on our Play Audio One U, okay? The beautiful thing about this is not only is it gonna allow us to connect directly to our interface uh, and split to both our computers, it's also gonna power our interface. Now let's go over to computer A and I'm gonna click on the USB host reservation tab in Oracle for X series. Oracle for X series is the free downloadable control software for my connectivity. And whenever you're using anything that's USB, the first place I suggest you head is to the USB host port reservation tab. And I'll show you why. Now looking at this page, you can see we have eight possible options. That means we could plug up to eight MIDI controllers into our Play Audio 1U and use them uh, with our interface. In this case, we only have one, so let's make it, keep it really simple. I'm gonna go to host one here. You can see my MIDI controller that's connected um, is showing up here. I'm gonna go to host port reservation and I'm gonna choose the name of that. The best way to think about this is imagine having an eight lane highway and we're dedicating one car each to always stay in that particular lane. So as I restart my interface, as I plug uh, more interfaces in, uh, host one is always gonna be dedicated to this MIDI controller here. Okay, so now that we've got that host port reservation made, I can go into uh, my DAW. Again, my DAW of choice for this is Ableton Live. So I'm gonna go into preferences. Uh, I'm gonna uh, go to the link tempo MIDI tab and you'll see our Play Audio One U is showing up here. And we have a couple different host ports that are showing up uh, automatically routed host one through four. So I'm gonna go to host one here and I wanna make sure that remote is enabled for host one. So I'm gonna click and enable remote here. Now let's jump over to our B computer. We'll do the same thing, uh, go into preferences, link tempo MIDI, and I'm gonna enable remote for host one. Now again, based on your DAW, this is gonna be a slightly different setup but essentially we want to make sure our DAW is enabled to accept MIDI notes from host one on our Play Audio One U. You saw how simple and easy that was to do. Now let's make some MIDI mappings. Let's just map play and stop to make this real simple. I'm gonna enter MIDI map mode on computer A. I'll go over to computer B, enter MIDI map mode, and I'm gonna click the play button on both of these. Now again, just as a reminder, this is Ableton specific, but it's a great example to follow along with. Now let's press play on our MIDI controller here. And you can see on computer A, we've been mapped to play. Computer B, we've been mapped to play. So now let's select our stop button on B, stop button on A, and let's press stop on our MIDI controller. And now as we look back, they're stop mapped. And we look back here, they're stop mapped as well. So now let's get out of MIDI map mode and let's test this out in real time, okay? So I can press stop, I can press play. And as we look at both of our dolls, they're both playing simultaneously. We can press stop and you can see they are both stop. So you can see how simple and easy it is to use your USB MIDI controller with the Play Audio One U, automatically have it split to control both of your computers simultaneously and have a really rock solid redundant playback system simply by plugging in a USB cable. Now, if you wanna learn a little more about this, you can click the link in the description of this video to head over to our support database and check out some of the articles that are written there. And if you can't find an answer to your question, you can reach out to our support team and submit a ticket and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody, bye.